every Go routine has a stack, and mostly your your local variables, things that you do in the course of a function, will live on the stack. And it's very, very fast because as you come into a, a function, we just kind of add. You know, we say the compiler figures it out. The compiler figures out this function is going to need 70 bytes of variables. So it just adds 70 to a, a number, which is the stack pointer. And then we use that we use that memory, that 70 bytes. We're using that for local storage, local variables. You come out of the function, you sub- subtract 20, uh, 70, I'm sorry. So you're just adding and subtracting. And as you call more functions, you add more. And as you return from functions, you subtract. And the stack is a really fast and simple thing. But that's all you can do. And and that's what Jordan talked about. Lifetime comes into it. If you need a piece of data to hang around while you go call a bunch of other things, or you're going to keep that data and pass it between different Go routines, or you're going to cache it for the entire life of your program, that needs to live somewhere else. That can't live on the stack of one Go routine. So we put it in this this other place, which which goes by the name heap. Heap as in just a like a big old heap of stuff. It doesn't mean anything particularly technical. It's just the word that we use for the way that those longer lived or or at least might be very short-lived, but we don't know for sure. So we put it on the heap and then it can live for a long time. Mm-hmm. 